Okay, more functional notation. Let's say that g of x equals x squared plus 11x and h of x equals 4x minus 12. The question then says that g of x equals h of x find x. Well, in terms of picking up the first mark there, there's a really easy and obvious first move. The question is telling me to make the g of x function equal to the h of x function. So I'll just go ahead and do that. x squared plus 11x is equal to 4x minus 12. In terms of what to do next, I would then see that this is a quadratic equation. And to solve a quadratic equation, I need to make it equal to zero. So I'll bring that stuff across to the other side. So that will be x squared plus 11x minus 4x plus 12 is equal to zero. That's x squared plus 7x plus 12 is equal to 0. Two numbers that multiply together to give 12 and add together to give 7. That's 3 and 4, so that's x plus, 4 bra x plus 3 bracket x plus 4. So x plus 3 is equal to 0. Or x plus 4 is equal to 0. x is minus 3. x is equal to minus 4. Okay a of x equals 3n squared plus 5n plus 30. b of x equals n squared plus 8n plus 57. a of x equals b of x. Find x. So again, I'm going to make the function of a of x equal to the function for b of x. So that first mark is easy enough. 3n squared plus 5n plus 30 is equal to n squared plus 8n plus 57. It's a quadratic equation, so bring everything across and make it equal to 0. Chain side, chain side. So that will be 3n squared minus n squared plus 5n minus 8n plus 30 minus 57 is equal to 0. So 3n squared take away n squared is 2n squared. 5n take away n is minus 3n, and 30 take away 57 is minus 27, and that's equal to 0. I can then use the Berry method to factorise and solve. So two numbers that multiply together to give minus 54, and add together to give minus 3. Well, the product is negative, so the signs would need to be different. And that would be plus 6 and minus 9. 6 times minus 9 is minus 54, and 6 minus 9 is minus 3. So bracket with a plus 6, bracket with a minus 9, drop 2 in and here, and 2 in and there. The second bracket cannot be factorised further, but I'll check it. The first one I can take out a factor of 2, which will bring me down to n plus 3. I then get n plus 3 is equal to 0, or 2n minus 9 is equal to 0. So that's n equals minus 3, 2n equals 9, n would be equal to 9 over 2. Next one I've got f of x equals 3 plus 4 sine of x. The question then says that f of a equals 5 find a. So again, it's this substitution. So whatever's in the bracket, it's 4 sine of whatever's in the bracket with a 3 plus at the start. 
So let's do that. So whatever's in the bracket, so A is in the bracket, so it's 4 sine A, but with a 3 plus at the start. And that then holds a value of 5. That is now a trig equation, so I'll go ahead and solve it and introduce the cast diagram. First of all, we've got trig terms to the left and number terms to the right. So that will be 4 sine A is equal to 5 minus 3, which is 2. Sine A is then equal to 2 over 4, which I can simplify down to 1 half. At that point, I can introduce the cast diagram. Take off all and sine a is equal to sine inverse one half. That will give me a round value of 30 degrees, so that's my all quadrant result. In the sine quadrant result, I'm moving backwards from 180 by 30 degrees, which will give me my second solution, 150 degrees. Okay, next one I'm told that f of x equals root 3 tan x plus 5, and that f of t equals 4, find two values of t. So, whatever's in the bracket, it's root 3 tan of whatever's in the bracket, plus 5. So it's t in the bracket, so root 3 tan of t plus 5 is going to be equal to 4. So again, just to go over that again, f of x equals root 3 tan x plus 5. So whatever's in the bracket, write it down, it's root 3 tan of whatever's in the bracket plus 5. So if t's in the bracket, it's root 3 tan t plus 5. That then holds a value of 4. It's a trig equation, trig terms to the left, normal terms to the right. So chain side, chain sign, and root 3 tan t is equal to 4 minus 5, which is minus 1. And then tan t is equal to minus 1 over root 3. Our routine at that point is to change that negative result to a positive result. But instead of looking in the all and tan quadrant, instead this time, because I've changed it from a negative to a positive result, I'm going to look in the sine and the cosine quadrant. So t will be equal to tan inverse 1 over root 3. That will give me a value of 30 degrees. Now remember that the calculator, or the first answer that you get, will be the one in the whole quadrant. But I'm not looking in the whole quadrant this time, I'm looking in the sine and cosine quadrant. So that is not a solution. But in the sine quadrant, I'll use that solution and I'll take it away from 180 to get 150 degrees. And in the cosine quadrant, I'll take it away from 360 to give me 330 degrees.